Did you know that North Carolina has over 200 active wineries in the state? It is a booming industry for North Carolina that has an economic impact of almost $2 billion and it supports more than 10,000 jobs in the state. While North Carolina ranks 11th in the U.S. in wine production, with just over 1 million cases per year, the state does boast a few firsts. Duplin Winery in Rose Hill, North Carolina is not only the largest and oldest winery in the state, it is also the world's largest producer of muscadine wine. To the west, in the mountains, the Biltmore Estate Winery is the number one most visited winery in the United States, with over one million visitors annually. Wine production is a year-round task for the wineries, culminating in bottling, the final stage needed in the process before it is ready to go to the consumer. While some of the larger wineries may have their own bottling lines, most of the wineries in the state rely on mobile bottling lines that are brought on site for the important last step of bottling. In this video, we will show you that last step. First, the mobile bottling line is delivered on site and hooked up to a power source. This is usually a dedicated generator. After all the facilities inside the lines are sanitized and sterilized with steam, the wine from the local winery is hooked up to the line so that it can be pumped in during the bottling process. Workers will set up and adjust the bottling line for the bottle size and shape that is going to be processed through the line. Empty bottles are brought in and placed at the beginning of the line while the appropriate corks, foils, and labels are loaded into place. The wine to be bottled is fed into the bottling line. The process starts with workers unloading empty bottles into the conveyor belt where the bottles are funneled down into a single feed line. The bottles are rinsed at the start of the line and then sparged with an inert gas, usually argon, to expel all oxygen. The sparging process may also be done at other stages of the process depending on the wine and the specific needs of the winery. Next, the bottles are filled with wine. A machine like this will typically fill and process about 45 to 70 bottles per minute. Immediately after being filled, the bottles are corked or screw capped depending on the specifications of the winery. After corking, bottles move on to be foiled. The machine first places the loose foil on top of each bottle. Each foil is then rolled to form tightly against the bottle. This three-step manufacturing process is what is referred to as a typical BFS process or blow, fill, seal. The bottle is then completed with the application of the labels, both front and back. The finished product is then brought back towards the front of the line where workers will quality check each bottle and then place each bottle into a wine box case. The box is then taped, loaded by workers onto pallets, and then stored in the warehouse. The wine is ready for delivery to the customer. The mobile operation is very interesting and provides a day of excitement for the winemaker. We hope you enjoyed this video. 
please like, share, follow, and visit www.hdcarolina.com for more informative videos of things to see and do in the Carolinas.